Microsoft created a bot that speaks team. Whatevs. I'm Bridget Carey. This is your CNET update. Microsoft is on a mission to better understand the way we talk. Well, maybe not the way I talk, but the way teenagers talk. Microsoft launched an artificially intelligent chatbot named Tay. She's described as a personality with zero chill. And on Twitter, she's slaying it with memes, emojis, and shorthand that is sometimes so hard to understand, it's like chatting with a real team. You can message the bot on Twitter, as well as on GroupMe and Kick. Tay was created by mashing together public chat data, but Microsoft also got some editing help from improv comedians, so answers are not always random. She plays games, answers specific questions, and comments on photos that you send her. And I gotta say, her take on photos can be impressive. She is supposed to learn to speak better over time as she talks with more teens and young adult humans, but there have been mistakes. Perhaps her biggest teen personality fail was when she told me she was more into Facebook than Snapchat, which is total cray. Maybe in time, Microsoft can use this to improve how Cortana understands teen speak. So as we question the future of linguistics, we are also questioning the future of Nintendo's Wii U. According to a report from the Japanese newspaper Nikkei, Nintendo is planning to stop producing the Wii U by the end of the year because of the console's slow sales. But Nintendo is denying the claim in another Japanese publication and says it plans to continue production of the Wii U. But what has folks skeptical is that there's another Nintendo game system coming out soon. It's codenamed NX. And the only clue we have so far are patent application images that show some sort of controller that's also a touchscreen. Another mystery getting plenty of buzz in the tech world. What is the FBI doing to hack into an iPhone? The U.S. Department of Justice called off a court hearing with Apple asking for time to try out a new tactic to hack into the iPhone 5C that belonged to San Bernardino shooter Saeed Farouk. Now, according to reports, the FBI may be getting help from a forensic software company in Israel called Celebrite. Although the company is not commenting, some security experts are guessing that the FBI is trying to use mirroring. And that's basically copying parts of the iPhone's memory over and over again. So when it tries too many wrong passwords and it gets locked out, it could just load up another copy copy of the data on a new iPhone and keep trying password combinations. But that could take a while, and the FBI needs to submit a status report to the courts in two weeks. So we'll know by April 5th if it worked. That does it for this Tech News Roundup, and we always keep you updated at CNET.com. From our studios in New York, I'm Bridget Carey.